This is a quick demonstration of a really cool new capability, VPlex Virtual Edition. Um, what's really awesome about this, it brings all of the things that customers love about VPlex, its ability to create active active storage models, its ability to completely and transparently make uh, migrations a thing of the past, to enable stretch DRS clusters into an environment that doesn't need any specific hardware. What we've got here is we've got a VCHS account that has nine virtual machines that are currently running. And what we've got over here is we've got a customer uh, running their vCenter environment and you can see that they've got a local cluster. They might have a private cloud which has got a component of vPlex, in this case you can see four vPlex directors uh, that are running as vApps, uh, so vDirector 1, 2, 3, and 4. Some of them are sitting in vCHS and some of them are sitting on their local premise. And this can actually uh, enable them um, to create a stretched DRS cluster and a stretched HA cluster that spans sites. Again, the example here is using VCHS, but it doesn't have to be VCHS. This could be two data centers, which is a classic uh, VPlex use case that's used by uh, thousands and thousands of customers uh, to create uh, active active models where they can do exactly what we're doing here, which is we're taking a virtual machine while it's running, and we're doing a completely non-disruptive vMotion uh, from one data center to another. Now, the really cool thing about this is that VPlex does this in a way that is completely transparent because the storage is simultaneously active active in both places. Now, what's new with VPlex VE is, again, previously this required a customer to have VPlex as hardware devices sitting in data center A and B in advance. In this case, they can now simply deploy the vApp, deploy it on top of whatever existing infrastructure they've got, and off they go. They now have got this capability to create stretched clusters. So as we're vMotioning that VM and we're moving it from uh, one private uh, cloud running vSphere uh, and VCAC off into, in this case, VCHS, you can see the VM in the lower right-hand window has been running the whole time and the number of virtual machines that is now running over here has increased. So really cool capability. Again, we've given an example of here of one way it could be used. There's lots of ways where it can be used. You, we now live in a world where by using software-defined storage for active-active uh, storage models, um, you can create active-active storage models on almost anything. Really cool stuff.